Hello, this is Malin again, coming back at ya. Ooh, chica chica. Today I want to talk about why YouTube won't help you. And I've kind of gone through this through personal experience. It can help you to a degree, it can help you get knowledge, but if you're someone like me that kind of just procrastinates and just, you know, is always intaking all this knowledge and always looking for all these answers and like, oh, what's like the best way to do this? What's like the best way to do that? Eventually you just get information overload and you just kind of find out, oh my God, there's like, this person says, you know, do eight reps, do three sets of that. This person says do like five sets of five. And that's just like with workouts, that's just a workout example. And it's like, well, what do I do? You do whatever you want. You do whatever you need. You do whatever you feel like you need to do. And then you just kind of adapt and learn from it. You're like, oh, this actually kind of works. So I'll stick with that for a while. Maybe I'll change in the future, but this is kind of how it's working at the moment. And I think the main component, the main use of YouTube is sharing ideas with other people, sharing entertainment um, and connecting with other people and kind of finding your place a lot easier because in our lives, it's kind of hard to find, you know, will this person like me? Is, that, is this person like me? Are they, are they gonna be people that I wanna spend my time with? And with YouTube, you can kind of present yourself in this way where you're like, oh, this is kind of what I am. This is what I like. And you can find other like-minded people. And it brings together this community, which I think is really amazing. And I think it needs to be taken a step further. This is what I would ultimately like to do. Not just have a community and not just have a community online like a lot of people are doing nowadays, but to have a community in person of these people that are kind of all on a similar path. And I think that's really powerful when you have people together and, you know, I think that's also like another lesson, you know, like I've spent so much time just alone, just watching these YouTube videos, reading a ton of books, gaining information, kind of writing out all these notes, get coming up with ideas. And it's important just to act and just do something and like, it's like, this is just something that I come up with recently. I've realized, you know, after the Fight Club video, I realized I had to get out. I had to get out of my comfort zone and do something, you know, to kind of face my fears. Because if you don't face your fears, if you don't face the edge of your comfort zone, then you're going to be stuck and you're going to feel, you're going to feel this block and you're going to be holding yourself back. And I've been held, holding myself back for so much. And so in the future, I kind of want to set myself some challenges with doing some social things and kind of putting myself out there more. I'm um, to try and do that as well in personal ways, which I might share in the future. But anyway, this is kind of what I wanted to say was with YouTube is you can't be spending all of this time on YouTube. And I really advise that you get off. Like as soon as you click on this video, I hope that you just come off. I hope that you are off this video by now. And yeah, because if you're like me and you're click, clicked on this video to find something, you're probably spending too much time on YouTube. I'm not saying that YouTube is bad, you know, it also, it has its place, but you've, you can't just be always intaking, intaking things without consuming, without creating or out, without putting anything in. You know, it's like you're putting a lot into the input and you're getting nothing out, you know, it's, it's like all these inputs, they're getting like all these beautiful inputs, you know, these great ideas and it's like, oh, you know, like these beautiful like paintings and you just come out and you've got like your output's just like this little dog poo, you know? It's just kind of sad and I don't want that. I don't want to be, <laughs> I don't want to be creating dog poos with my output, you know, but that's kind of what I've been doing and that's like me being honest and I don't want you to be putting out dog poo with all of this information that you have and if you've clicked on this video, you're probably someone like me that has all these great ideas and all this great knowledge in your head. You just need to back yourself and and do this, you know, shine up those dog poos and eventually, you know, maybe you're creating dog poo statues. <laughs> All right, I gotta stop continuing with the dog poo one. All right, we'll stop. Okay. I think you should be inputting with equal to your output, you know? And at some stages of your life, you need to have more knowledge. You'll be like kind of lost and you need all this information for you to move forward into the next step. And it's through that action that you kind of pick up these little advice like, oh, so this is what that meant. This is what this actually means. And this is how I apply it in real life. So anyway, I could keep going on for ages, but if you've been watching this video for too long, you probably don't need any more information.
you probably already know it yourself. You just don't trust yourself or you are just stuck, you know, in this cycle of, you know, holding yourself back and not going out there and actually doing what you need to do because that's a hard thing to do and that kind of sucks. Anyway, I gotta stop talking. Get off YouTube. If you've been on it too much, you'll know, you'll get slightly offended if you do this. If I'm saying this, that's how you can kind of reflect and realize, oh, this is what, how I should be off it. And I'll see you in the next video, or will I?